Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Tuesday, November 10th. For the next two days, the Church has us reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus for the first reading of daily Mass. We know from the other books of the Bible that Titus was an assistant of St. Paul, who was a Gentile prior to his conversion to Christianity. Titus traveled with St. Paul, and he was also sent on missions by St. Paul to other Christian communities. And this was what Titus was doing when St. Paul wrote him this letter. We learn in the first verses of this letter that Titus is acting as the administrator of the Christian community in Crete. St. Paul gives him the responsibility of organizing it through the appointment of presbyters and helping other members of this community understand how all are called to be disciples of Jesus Christ. Today's selection comes from the second chapter of this letter. It reads, For the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, who himself for us delivered us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. In this selection, St. Paul makes the Christian life sound very straightforward. The grace of God has appeared. Grace, or the free and unmerited gift of God's life and love, can save us and train us. So all we do is reject godless ways and worldly desires. And if we keep this up until Jesus returns at the end of time, the glory of God will be ours. Again, straightforward. And it almost sounds easy, right? And at the core, the message of Jesus Christ is not complex. Even Jesus himself summed up all of his teachings in the two greatest commandments. But as we know, the grace of God and the knowledge of God is only effective if we cooperate with it in our lives. And this is where being a Christian in the world becomes complex and difficult. Because if we read the rest of St. Paul's letter to Titus, we would hear about all the prescriptions and regulations given by St. Paul to Titus as he's establishing this new Christian community. It's a lot. But it's my hope that no one listening to this recording or any of the daily reflections would ever despair in their lives because they're struggling with living out their faith. If anything, I want to welcome you to the club of being a Christian in this world. It can be very difficult. It can be hard. But again, the message of Christ is truly straightforward. The grace of God has appeared. Grace or the free unmerited gift of God's life and love is given to us to save us and to train us. So that we can reject sin, that we can turn away from worldly desires, and truly come to know how much we are loved by God. And if we do this to the best of our abilities, brothers and sisters, one day Christ will welcome us home to eternal life. And this is to be the source of our hope, even though at times we struggle and we find it hard to live out our lives as Christians. So let us be encouraged by these words of St. Paul's to Titus. And we know that again, if we do fall, if we do struggle, we have great hope because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.